Why reporting needs to be so annoying sometimes, eh? Well, lucky us at IBM because we have IBM Spectral Control to save the day. So, from the easiest to the more comprehensive manner, I will show in this short demo three quick ways of getting reports from Spectral Control. Okay, so shall we have some fun with reporting? Yay! Cheers, bye. So, pretty straightforward talk here. I'm going to show you three ways of getting some information from your storage systems using spectral control okay first one let's use the spectrum control dashboard itself um, as you can see i have all my systems here and i go directly to the option reports and then i will have an option call it create a report or run or delete to the report that are already here so click on create report Let's go to option block story system. Let's build a unique name for the report. And then I can choose capacity information about all block storage systems. If you want to uh, uh, have a holistic and general view of everything that you're monitoring, or you can drill down to one specific system. Let's choose this one for this example click next and then uh, we can now choose the storage system that we're going to use let's click the cluster system that we want to show some reports click on next and then we have the option of uh, uh, choosing uh, what i'm going to show in the report there are some predefined and preset uh, uh, metrics available we can delete uh, can sorry uncheck or or check more options according to what we need let's let's leave it like this for now click on next we have the option of creating a filter um, this is more interesting for example if you want to show only uh, um, uh, uh, systems with more than 85% of used capacity or 70%, which is good because you are running out of um, out of swap area and, and rebuild area. So it is good to know. Uh, so you can uh, like start some procurement to add more drives, things like that. Uh, for now, again, uh, we're going uh, we're not going to use any filter, but as you can see, you can choose the metric, the comparison, and the value. So you can uh, um, drill down a little bit more and be more specific on what you're trying to show in this report. Finally, you can choose what to do with the report, which is sending email for myself, for example, and um, demo report. Uh, the type of file that we are going to receive, if it is a PDF, CSV, or, or HTML, um, and then you can choose the frequency, which is basically uh, 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 you can just send it now, and that's it. You can send it daily weekly or monthly by date so the idea is that you don't need to do this uh, uh, all single time uh, you need to put the spectrum control to work for you okay and then click on send and then this report will be sent to my email okay and uh, by the way it will be showing uh, uh, for us here as well and then uh, what I'm going to receive by email in a PDF format is exactly this. Still on the Spectrum Control dashboard, there's another way of getting some information. It's not a specific report, but it can be a report from it. Uh, it is called export, export performance data. So let me show you how you get it. So first of all, select this, the storage system that you are trying to uh, study or analyze and uh, right click export performance data all under the menu actions export performance data if you click on that some options will appear so first of all of course the timing the periods that you you want to study so you choose from the day to the year to the minutes that you're talking about and then you can also choose the advanced 
exports. Advanced export means the granularity of volume data and also if you are monitoring one minute in a specific uh, um, interval for a specific interval in, in a storage system that will count as a advanced report as well. And then you cl just click on create. He, he will pack everything from this period with this information selected or not and create a zip file. And then just save. What will happen is that something like this will appear in your screen. After the download is complete, just unzip the file and see the content inside it. As you can see, all the metrics available for this system it will be shown on the time period that we selected. For this example, we're going to just open this file here. And oh, by the way, this report here in specific, the volumes one came because we selected the advanced export option. Okay. So you can have the same view in a volume by volume perspective. So let's open it. And there we go. We have all metrics available in a spreadsheet. What you can do from here, you just select whatever you want to study and build your own report from here. Okay, pretty straightforward. If you are already skilled in spreadsheets like this, it is just a matter of selecting the content and uh, metrics that you want to study and that's pretty much it. Easy, eh? Let's go to the third option or, or the third way of getting some information from Spectrum Control. Another way of getting reports from Spectrum Control is using IBM Cognos Analytics. It comes together with the deployment package of Spectrum Control, but it is not installed by default. So you need to choose to install it and connect with Spectrum Control. Also, it comes together with a group of predefined reports, so you don't need to build your queries from the scratch. So you have some predefined uh, uh, stuff that uh, you can make usage of it, and I will show you in a minute. I also in encourage you to take a look on the how to video sections and the accelerator catalog sections, which shows basically how to increase your skills on doing uh, queries and filters using Cognos Analytics, okay? So last but not least, let's use some predefined reports, shall we? Okay, so from the menu on the left hand side, let's go to Team Content and an option called IBM Spectrum Control Predefined Reports will be available. Uh, just note that this option is only available because we did some priority steps earlier uh, in order to load these reports into Cognos. I will share in the description of the this video uh, the step-by-step -step on how to do it. Let's choose storage system for this simple example. Let's choose the performance of one storage system. And then let's choose the storage system that we are, we want to get some information from. I want to see the last month. Systems okay. Interval maybe daily. That's fine. And let's click on finish and wait for the report. There you go. An overall view of. The performance of this particular storage system, the total IO rate with the response time, the read and write IO rate from with the respective response times as well, the data rates and cache hits as well. So this is a fancy and an easy way of showing, for example, to your client that you are delivering the performance that you promise him to or her to deliver. Okay. Another example. Let's see what is the most active storage that we have 
So let's go storage system as well. And then we have an option of most active storage system. So that will do. So let's choose, for example, 2v7000. Imagine that we are a little bit worried that one is not delivering the proper performance uh, and needs to replace it because we have some SLA, SLAs. Uh, so it is a good report to, to have this information from. So there you go. So we have, uh, in this case here, the IO rate by storage system. But um, imagine that IO rate doesn't tell you that much. I want to see a data rate because I'm worried about the streaming backup or batch report that's running on these machines. And then you have the same information by storage system. And imagine that I want to see who is the slowest one. And then you can play uh, with all options available. Okay, so as you could see, lots of use case to take from it. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see some customs reports, uh, just let me know. I'm happy to guide you through. And uh, please leave your comment. Let me know what you think about this series. I would love to hear from you. Okay, kekaha matewa.